Monster Talent is the fifth episode of the first season of the Looney Tunes show, and there are definitely some really good things about this, but there are some things that I think are going to take a bit of getting used to with certain characters. We actually have two parts to the narrative here, one focusing on Daffy and one focusing on Bugs. And there will be spoilers as I discuss this episode and things, uh, mention things that I liked, things that I, I, I didn't necessarily love about it. The story with Bugs, though, is very straightforward, really enjoyable. Bugs Bunny has got a catchphrase. I like it because Speedy Gonzalez has kind of convinced him to be in a commercial for his new frozen pizza range. And he doesn't say, I love it, but he says, I like it. And Speedy thinks that this is believable. And it's more believable than gushing about this frozen pizza. So I thought, actually, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Porky wanted to be in the commercial, but it didn't exactly go to plan. I love that Speedy kept calling him Pinky. I thought that was absolutely adorable. And Bugs was pretty great in this. Both got fed up of people asking him to keep saying his catchphrase, which I imagine would be the case if you were in that situation. So I rather enjoyed it. It's a nice part of the story. The other part of the episode, as I said focuses on Daffy, but also Gossamer. And Gossamer is actually a child in this. And he's rather sweet and adorable. And he's struggling to make friends. So Daffy is trying to help him make friends in ways that may not be the most effective, but he's trying. And a lot of it revolves around this upcoming talent show. And... I know I said spoilers, I won't say exactly what happens though with the talent show, but I thought Gossamer gave a really good performance and I thought it was very sweet and I really liked the character of Gossamer. What I didn't like is the character of Gossamer's mother, which in itself is an interesting concept, but this is, I thought, Witch Hazel, but actually it's Witch Lisa. And I saw that written down and I didn't think anything of it. And then I was reading about this character on fandom.com and it pointed out that Lisa is Hazel backwards. And I just was totally oblivious to that fact. And the reason why this is going to take some getting used to is not the animation. The animation of the character is very similar, which I think is actually part of the problem because the voice is completely, completely different to Witch Hazel. And whenever I look at the character, but I hear a different voice, it's really jarring and I don't like it. Had I never had any experience with the character of Witch Hazel, I wouldn't have thought twice about it. But I'm assuming that most people watching the Looney Tunes show have seen the classic cartoons, at least some of them. So then I don't know why they made this decision to give Witch Lisa uh, a completely different voice. I don't know if it's maybe because they couldn't find anybody else. I'm trying to think off the top of my head if anybody other than June Foray has voiced Witch Hazel. And possibly that might have been the case. I just Googled it and Bea Benadere voiced her very briefly. June Foray, of course, voiced her for the bulk of it. We also have Tress McNeil. And Candy Milo is credited as voicing the character from 2017 to present. But according to IMDb, the voice actor for this particular character is Ros Ryan. So I don't know if anybody has any more information about why they decided to go down this route. I'd be keen to find out. Calling the character Witch Laser isn't enough to distinguish the character from Witch Hazel. The design of the character is so similar that it's just really jarring. And I just don't think it was the, the best decision. As I said, there's nothing wrong with the actual voice acting or the vocal performance, but it just, because we're so familiar with that character and that iconic voice, it just doesn't work very well. Gossamer has a very different voice as well, but I don't think Gossamer as a speaking character is quite as iconic as Witch Hazel. But nevertheless, it didn't affect my enjoyment of the overall cartoon, but certainly it's something that stood out to me as being something that, at the very least, is going to take a little bit of getting used to, I don't know how often Witch Lisa appears in Looney Tunes show. I guess I will find out. But for now, she was was only in this a little bit anyway. She wasn't in it a tremendous amount. But she didn't affect my overall enjoyment. And I thought it was a, a pretty fun narrative. It was nice to have Gossamer. Nice to have Speedy Gonzalez as well. And and I really liked it. The two stories, I think, got a, a decent amount of screen time. The editing back and forth between the two of them felt really smooth. The animation quality is absolutely stunning. So no real complaints. And as I said, if I'd never heard of Witch Hazel before, then 
it wouldn't have made any difference. I wouldn't have thought twice about the voice, but I definitely think it's a an interesting decision for them to make. But it, I, it might just be something that takes a bit of time getting used to because I expected one thing, it's not what I got. But with the next appearance, I will at least know what to expect and it might not be as jarring. So we'll see how that goes. For now, though, I'm quite happy in saying that I enjoyed Monster Talent. <laughs> 